I went to the bakery and got absolutely nothing. Great use of rupees. <laughs> hey guys, Miss Nelly here, and welcome back to another episode of The Minish Cap. In the last episode, we got ourselves a new sword ability, which was barely a sword ability at all. And we did a bunch of kinstone fu fusing. And in this episode, we're going to be doing more of the same, but hopefully getting a little bit further in the actual story as well. But it depends on how quickly we can actually finish up these kinstone fusions. Um, there are only about like four or five left, I believe. And at that point, you know, I'm not too terribly hurt if we don't find them all. Uh, I know one is static that I want to go and do ASAP. It's really important. Just saying it's absolutely 100% completely important. Um, actually I'm not even sure if I can do that. Do that. I'm kind of assuming. Uh, you don't have a kinstone fusion for me? Really? Really? You did just a second ago? Come on! Oh, come, don't tell me you changed your mind in the span of time that it took me to go into this building, buy a couple of pieces of bread, and come back out. Come on. Anything? Anything? Okay, I, I guess they had a shared fusion then. That's all I can think of. That's probably what it was, actually. But anyway, the other kinstone fusion that I wanted to check that is very important is this yellow house. We stopped by super briefly. Do you have a fusion? Nope. Super, super briefly. Let's see. Please have the right one. Is this the right one? Holy crap it is! Okay, this is a pretty important one. Like, if there's any kinstone fusion that you should do, it's probably this one. Does not look like much when you just look at it, right? We're gonna go and do that right away. Uh, good luck. Yes, it is quite the good luck, right? Okay, uh, first off, I wanna double check these. Actually, can I fuse with this dog? I'll check that real quick. Well, while we're here, I might as well just kinda see. Okay, I can. I'm remembering correctly. Uh, he wanted this one. Okay, so that was like, what, three? I think there's two more that we can get currently? I think? I'm really hoping. I would like to not have to deal with this. Okay, at least, at least we're moving along though. Like, that's, that's some progress. We did a lot of kinstones over the course of like the past two episodes. Oh, excuse me. Uh, do you guys want to fuse anything? You guys look like the no fun type. Well, at least the big boss does. I mean, like, everyone else kind of seems cool to me. Uh, nothing? Okay, so with that, we're gonna head down to South Hyrule Field and see what's cooking there, because we just got an interesting new fusion. Trust me, th this, is, this is pretty worth it. Uh, might not seem like it right now, but I, I want to make sure that we do it right away before I forget. Keep hoping that these guys will have fusions for me, and they never do. <sighs> oh well. Maybe I'll check inside the houses a little bit later. But for now, time to go down to South Hyrule Field and into this portal! Okay, first and foremost, we have a couple of chests here which have kinstones in them. Which, that's pretty neat in and of itself. But... We'll see, we can't really leave this area right now. We don't really know where we are. Goodness, we rarely get visitors here. Tell me, how did you get here? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. I bribed some random dude in, in Hyrule Town. Might want to have a chat with him. And you, 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 you have quite the glamorous eyebrow singular. Nobody believes me, but I saw a ghost that has taken a hold of Granddad. That sounds like quite the pickle. I can't believe old Gregel is sick. He was looking so healthy. I guess something just took hold of him. Uh, get this kinstone piece. And, as you'll see, he does have a ghost kind of going around. In my youth, I was called Gregel the Great. I was even a little bit famous. 
But lately my limbs have grown heavy and I can't even stand up. <coughs> well, you wouldn't think that we could do anything about it, right? I mean, we're, we're not exactly Ghostbusters or anything. But we do have a specific jar that might do the trick. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Well, well, well. Look at how it come how uh, look at how the color has come back to his face. How can I ever thank you? I still have a hard time believing he'd been possessed by a monster, though. And look at that! What? An evil spirit had taken a hold of me and you drove it away! You you might be right. I can already feel my energy returning! I'll be able to get out of bed soon. What's your name? Masei? Thank you, my boy. You saved me. And we get 100 mysterious shells! <laughs> Guys, I'm worried. 999 is the cap and we're fast approaching it. Very, very fast approaching it. I have been spending them too. It's not like I haven't been, but geez. Getting them faster than I can spend them. Anyway, so that might not seem like a huge deal, but trust me, it is. That, that will come into play a little bit later. And there is a time limit on this. At some point, you will not be able to partake in this particular side quest anymore. So make sure you do that at your earliest convenience. And hopefully, you will be able to get the certain thing that is offered later. Now, beyond that, I'm going to go ahead and poke a little bit around town for more kinstone fusions. Hopefully, I can find a couple more, maybe. And if not, then we'll, we'll just say screw it and go on with our merry lives. So give me a moment. Okay, I couldn't really find anything in town, so I decided to come over here to the Minish Village to check it out and see if there was any fusions there, but couldn't find anything, so I decided to just pick up this treasure chest. Yeah, it's 200 rupees. Still wasting them rupees! I should just spend everything I have. You'd figure I'd learn by now. I don't have any of these rewards like memorized down pat so it's kind of a surprise to me too depend uh, on whatever it is that we get so unfortunately that means that i'm pretty trash at planning ahead it's a little unfortunate but i'm, I'm making do i'm making do so i have to go back to town and spend more rupees now so see you guys in hyrule town hokey doke after running all over the world like a stupid crazy person, searching for kinstone fusions every which way that I possibly could have, I have reached the conclusion that we probably have gotten at least most of them. I, I, I seriously could not find any other more any other kinstone fusions that are currently available. I even went to the hermit and he didn't have any for us. So I think it's safe to say that we're we're okay to continue forward. All right, uh, so before we head off to the Elemental Sanctuary, I want to go... Oh, excuse me. I wanted to go ahead and bomb this rock. This is pretty important. Come over here and go down this. Go down these stairs. And we have a secret piece of heart. Now we have two pieces. We're getting pretty close to another heart container already. Why do I drown everywhere? Every single place I go, I drown! Guys, keep me away from water in this game. I usually like water. I like water very much, and then I had to go ahead and, like, freaking, freaking... Case in point! Okay, stay. Stay away from water. Wait a second, what's down here? This is different. Uh, oh, this is just this area. Okay, so I didn't have to go up that ladder. Okay, with that, it's time to head up into Hyrule Castle. Been a while since we've been here. There are the kinstone things that we have uncovered, but like I said, they are guarded at this current moment, so we can't access them. Unfortunately, that, that's kind of a bummer. Are you sure I look all right? I never know what to wear to formal occasions. You're, you're, you're kind of adorning me. You are the clothes, sir. Please don't get too bent out of shape over it. Anyway, uh, we have to find the Elemental Sanctuary, but first I want to stop in at the King and his advis advisor and see what's up with them. It's been a little while since we've been here, so I want to go ahead and see what's going on. 
Hello, your majesty. Oh, Masay, you have returned. Welcome. Did you gather the elements? What? A sanctuary, you say? Why, I've heard of no such thing in my castle. But if we talk to him... Hmm, a sanctuary. You know, I do recall a story my grandmother once told me long ago. She said she saw a doorway appear in the palace courtyard as a child. If this door does indeed open only once a century, it may be open even now. As with the Bikori themselves, the door is visible only to the eyes of a child. We might have walked past it recently and never even known it was there. Ah, good to know. So, it's the castle courtyard. Honestly, this kind of tripped me up a little bit. Uh, 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 give me just one moment. Hello, hello ma'am. Do you have any kinstones? No, you don't. Okay, just check it. I just, I was just kidding. Okay, um, so, when they said castle courtyard, I was not thinking about inside the castle. I actually was wandering around outside of the castle, like in the front lawn, for quite a long time. They did not mean that. There is a second courtyard. I guess this is more a courtyard by definition. But this is something entirely different. Please stop running into that pole. Out here is a proper courtyard. And if we walk forward... Hey. Masay, look! See how that doorway glows? Could that be the door that leads to the sanctuary? Nobody in the castle seems to be able to see it but you and me. Let's go, quickly! Let's enter the doorway. I love this place. This place is so pretty. It, it, it's so gorgeous. There's the colors and the shiny and the music is something else. So this is the elemental sanctuary then. This is where we can infuse your blade with the power of the elements. Yes, there seems to be a pedestal for your sword right in the middle there. and fire elements have infused your blade. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can't read that tablet for you. Fill your sword with the power and walk over the glowing tile. Hmm, perhaps it refers to those flashing spots on the floor around you. Well, what are you waiting for? Try it, Msay! And try it I shall. Welcome to... Two swords! Whoa, you just split in two! So this is the power of the white sword! I guess you can double yourself like that anytime you see those panels. Which is pretty amazing. This opens up so much potential for, for puzzle solving. It's really interesting. It's amazing and I love this mechanic. It's so cool. Also, you can cut grass like this and it's very, very efficient. With that, we have opened up the door again with our new power. I love this power. It's so creative. And I, and you guys, you guys just wait. You guys just wait. I say this now, but I'm probably going to get really frustrated at said puzzles later down the line. But I, I find it really interesting. It's a very interesting power up, and it, uh, it makes me, it makes me smile. Actually, I wonder if I can tell the king about this or the advisor. I never tried that. I wonder if I can. Before we head out, I want to test that. Very briefly. It won't take long. I swear. Look, we're almost there. Don't nag me. Uh, head up north and... Oh ho! The doorway was indeed in the garden. My grandmother was right. While my family has always been known for its honesty above all else. But I still can't understand. Why is it that children can see the Picoria in the doorway, but I cannot? You got old! The doorway to the elemental sanctuary is in the castle courtyard. All we adults see is just another or ordinary wall. Incredible! Please, just gather the remaining two elements and repair the sacred sword. I'm counting on you, Masay. Never forget that. Huh. No pressure. Just 
the king of the realm, you know, expecting you to save the world and save his daughter. That's that's no pressure at all, right? <laughs> you, you don't mind if I marry her after I'm done. I mean, there has to be an upside in all of this mess, right? Right? Question mark? That, that would be great. <laughs> anyway, with a new sword power up in hand, let's head on outside. Now, uh, the next place that we want to hit is actually <laughs> right here. Interesting, you're the last person I expected to find here. And just as I was wondering who could be behind this, I find my old master. Vati! <laughs> and as always, you are dressed in <laughs> the shabbiest of rags. My curses are not to be mocked. The one I cast on you is most powerful. No matter what power you wield, you will never break it. You haven't changed in the slightest. I should never have created that cap. It only fueled your insane desires. Fool! A hat that grants the wishes of its wearer is a spectacular creation. Thanks to you, I've gone from being a meek, minuscule nothing to the greatest sorcerer alive. You cannot stop me now, and I have you to thank for it. Accept this small gesture of gratitude from me. Wait, buddy, wait! And welcome to Moblin City! Okay, you know what? We have not used the boomerang yet, so I'm gonna see if this doesn't stun! Stun! Oh boy, that is perfect! This is the best! Boomerang is OP! Yeah, use the boomerang, guys. Use it a lot more than I've been using it. <laughs> that foul Vati! What could he be scheming now? Masay, I feel I owe you an explanation of what has happened. You see, Vati and I are both Minish. I was once a famous sage and a renowned Minish craftsman. Vati was only a boy when I took him on as my apprentice. But he became enchanted by the wickedness in the hearts of men. One day, Vati took a hat I made for the humans, my pride and joy. It granted the wishes of its wearer. He put it on without permission. Vati, what are you doing here? Oh, what a vile form you've taken. <laughs> vile? I am a sorcerer now, and my power is beyond compare. No longer will I tire away as your apprentice. Now all shall call me master. Why, Vati, what are you plotting? This year, on the day that comes but once a century, the portal opens. And when it does, I shall claim the Light Force as my own. I will be transformed, perfect, and there will be none who can stop me. How does it feel, my sorcerer's curse? Do you see, Ezlo? I am truly your master now, and you cannot stop me. And with that, I must be leaving. You know the legends, of course. The gifts the Picori gave the humans. What you call the Picori Blade was the first of those gifts. The second, well... You call it Light Force, but it is a source of limitless magical power. If Vati were to get it now, it would be devastating. I came to the world of men hoping to stop Vati, and I met you in the woods. But it seems we won't be breaking the curse on me anytime soon. However, with the Sacred Blade, we can certainly restore Princess Zelda. I'm sorry. All that has happened has been due to my own pride. My folly. I must rely on you, on your power, until we've put an end to Vati. Well, Masay, enough fairy tales. We must search for the next element. And with that, now we know Ezlo's origins. 
I think some of us probably predicted him becoming a Minish, or being a Minish in the first place. <laughs> All right, though. With that, I think we're gonna wrap things up here now that we have quite the story under our belts. It's time to continue our adventure in the next episode. I will see you guys then. Messina out. <laughs>